Her name is Dixie Riggs. I'm married to Jimmy Riggs and we live um, in a small town in the middle of America somewhere. And uh, we're having trouble keeping our land and we're having trouble actually existing. We have a museum and I interpret Marilyn. I've sort of channeled my life into Marilyn and that's what we do. But we're a little worried now as we don't know whether we're going to be able to keep our museum and keep our land. The script was just very beautiful and it's not often you have the possibility of, of filming a story which, is, which, is, which has great goodness and, and great um, sweetness in it without, without being sickly and without being silly, but just a very beautiful story. Leanne is very, um, she's very instinctive as a director and she allows us right from the beginning to, to do how we feel a scene will be and then she'll modify us a little bit but so she's um she's very instinctive director and she 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 wants us to just be as authentic as we possibly can she doesn't want any any sort of visual acting going on she just likes she just likes to be able to when she sees a scene feel that it's real I think the, the, the part of uh, Marilyn in Dixie is a, a part where she goes because she was broken hearted about something that happened in her life and she, she, she just couldn't bear being herself anymore and so she channeled herself in, into Marilyn who she loved and, and adored and, and she, she, she felt that the light of Marilyn could, could protect her from the pain that she knew that she would have to keep feeling for this thing that she'd done. And um, so she's not she's not mimicking Marilyn in any way. She's just she's she's just really in a way worshiping her uh, for for being the person that that Marilyn was, the person that a lot of people perhaps didn't quite see, but the person that uh, was as broken as she was beautiful. The characters are there are all they're all bits and pieces of the human condition characters and parts that we play in. And um, there are bits of Dixie and probably in, in, in other parts and other films I've done that you, you wouldn't know it, but I'd know it. And it's, it's like a tapestry, it's like a patchwork. We're here as actors and, and performers to, to, to channel other people through us and make people believe that we are really those people. And we do believe that we are those people when we're playing them. To work with a treasure is something very fine because you know that you, you have a privilege and I, I think we all felt that we had a great privilege working with Willie who's, who has vehicled such extraordinary magic all through these years for so long and to be in his ranch where he actually lives and to be intimately part of his life, I'm paying his wife so I can really imagine what, what, um, you know, what it could be like being with a person like like Willie, and Willie has this goodness that shines out from him. You know, he, people know him as this extraordinary musician, but also I think the reason why he's so loved is because people feel this goodness in him.